What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Part 21 of the walkthrough. So, uh, we're gonna head right on out here. I already killed these two, but take that guy out. And take this one out if you want as well. And we are gonna be going down. Now, before we go down, uh, if you want, there are a couple enemies that you might be able to snipe with your magic. God, that spell is so bad as a snipe. Kill those three, it looks like. All right, well, let's just get to it. Double team, huh? Well then, seems only fair. So after he's out of the way, right on over here. Oh, way. Pick up Abbot Vernoff's key. I will take out the dogs. loot over here we can grab. Alright, take the path to the left for Dog and the Soldier, and we're gonna go up for a Dog and a Big Knight. Alright, now that that's all done, we're gonna go ahead and open some doors. And this is just adding more interconnectivity to the zone, you don't really, you don't need to open a lot of these, to be honest. That one and the one we're at right now. They're not really contributing anything. But, you know, allows you to explore better. Now this one though, this one I would definitely recommend opening. So with those open... I thought there was a door there for a second. We're gonna head this way and we're gonna go up. down. Uh, let's see, take the path left for, for a big night, proceed ahead, and stay to the right. Some goodies for me. So right here, just stay on the right side of this. And then there's that platform we could jump to earlier that I was talking about. Uh, so after that, drop on down. Up the large shards. And we, uh, pull our way out. And here we are. So I think we're good. Let's see. Drop down for loot. Exit straight ahead for same loot. Uh, through door to use the key. Kill trash and enter umbral for two reapers and two saintly quintessences. So as long as nothing aggroes you, if something does, take it out. Go ahead, pop that open. And then... Right down here, kill, 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 kill these last two. Your thing will not protect you. Another saintly quintessence. Go ahead and top on off. Alright. And the first thing we're going to do is actually go over to the side here. I'm going to drop down and say hello to Mother Fairy. Get out of here. Once 
you kill her? Exit from Umbral. There's actually some more Umbral stuff we're gonna do here, but we are exiting out first. To make going through this a little easier. And if you go right over here, this is the other Abbot Vernoff door that we can open. Which, right over there, that's kind of where we uh, first entered this portion of the, the manse. And besides that, this over here is the Abbey. We're not actually going to do the Abbey just yet. We're going to clear all of the tower, which is over there with the beacon. Uh, but if you want, you can run in here. There should be a... Night sword or so uh, helmets over here. Oh, that must have been a drop. Still, anyway, run through Stone's dialogue real fast. She wouldn't. I just need to show pure of Pieta. I've yet to see enough. Uh, we can get accents to invigorating aura as well as barbed aura. So I'm gonna pick up barbed aura to try it on out. Curious if that's any good. Uh, but otherwise, just leave him there for now. And we're gonna come back to this area a little bit later, like I said. All right. So we can pick things up. We need to get this umbral that's right here, but there is a boss fight up ahead, so we're gonna do that first, as opposed to entering umbral now, and potentially screwing ourselves. I meant to grab it when we ran right through. Let me see if there's anything else. Uh, make a left for stigma, then a right for moth guarding the exit. Open the path to the abbey, but go straight for a boss fight. Okay. So this fight's pretty annoying. It is a poison knight, uh, so put on your poison resistance ball, maybe even poison cures. Uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just a really, really fucking annoying fight, to be honest. He's gonna cover the entire area in poison. So the best thing to do is just cook him as fast as you can, using whatever spells or weapons you have. He's not particularly challenging, as you can see, but as he gets low, he does this. He just coughs up poison everywhere. He's got his little umbral thingy, we'll pop that now. And then when you think you've killed him, he usually gets back up, which is the annoying part of this fight. Come on, man. You dead for good now? Yeah, see how long like he just he just doesn't want to die. He's like, no, I'm not, I'm not dead yet. I'm I'm still kicking, and it's like, would you die already? Anyway, now that he's dead, we're gonna enter Umbral. We're gonna grab the stigma. You look exhausted, Peter. Do you bring any better news? I'm afraid not, my lady. We are gonna run up and ahead, and this is actually a great spot to leave a seed. Head this way. I assure you, I. This. Some stuff we're gonna fight, starting with a gargoyle that's right over here. And if you need it to rest and heal, obviously go for that. I'm um, I'm doing okay, but you know, no reason to feel like you have to run into this with uh, zero heals. Texture glitch there, it looks like. Anyway, kill him. Pick up Jeffrey's dagger. Roll off, and then you can exit Umbral here, but we're gonna go back and rest anyway.
Okay, so we got the Saintly Quintessence, we got the Stigma, Moth Guarding the Umbral Exit, Annoying Poison Knight. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and get some upgrades. So that's our final point in Vitality. Now to talk about why, uh, you'll notice that right now when we level up, we're getting 15 health per point. If I continue to level up, I'm only going to get 10 health per point. So this is what we call a soft cap. Uh, we'll continue getting 10 health per point up into 60 which will put us right at 1,000 HP, and then after that, it slows down even more. So now that we've hit the 800 health threshold, my goal is now to ramp up my damage, and that, in a similar fashion, the, the first point where that stopped ramping was at 50, it slowed down a little bit, but it's gonna continue to go up to 75 before it slows more heavily. Or heavily. So in this case, <clears throat> we've hit the first soft cap on Vitality, We've hit the first soft cap on Radiance, and now I'm going to focus my Radiance to, to get to the, the second soft cap, or what some people would consider the hard cap, because it's just not worth leveling up past that. Uh, but go ahead, level up, and then we are ready to go. Scroll the notes. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, gargoyle, two more gargoyles, Jeffrey Stagger, proceed to exit, braided ring, map, and then elevator. All right, let's do it. Tower of Penance. So run around to the right. Really hope this was bugged earlier, and uh, you could not go down the hole that you're supposed to go down. So, really, really hope that's been fixed. Because if it hasn't, uh, we're gonna have to to boot up Cheat Engine and enable No Clip to proceed through the level, which would be pretty bad for a walkthrough. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's. I know for a fact it's a bug because like what I did on my Let's Play just would not work here. So it's like a texture bug or something, I don't know. I'm really hoping maybe it was just on that one character. We'll find out soon enough. But anyway, welcome to the Tower of Pundits. So, not worth doing one right here. It's, this initial part is going to be pretty easy. So come on over here. Rumble. Knock him on his ass. And you can finish him with your sword. After that, we're going to go here and pull this down. Take this ladder down. And then there's a Wither Mage right down there. We're going to try and... Might be able to just blow these up and kill him. There we go. So he's dead. Uh, let's see. Cross and pull platform. So we're gonna go down, and you can kind of see him right over there. Oh, there's, there's two. There's this guy, and then there is the uh, the spiky head. Oh, you can see since we're in Umbral already. But what we want is for a spiky head to come after us. I guess he's close enough, so we can... Uh, Should remove him. Yep, okay. Now that he's gone, go ahead and hit this. And then instead of taking the ladder, uh, roll down here. Open up this chest. It's going to get you another delirium chunk. After that, we... Is it over there? No. After that, we go down. And then we go up the ladder. It's a little platform there you could drop to first, but... Minimal damage, right? Okay. And we want to run and jump. To get across. Back over here, now that we've pulled that platform, we can drop right here. We can open this up to get a Rebirth Chrysalis. Pretty nice, right? Plus 10 upgrade item and a Rebirth Chrysalis in the same area. Alright, uh, now from where we are at, if I remember... No, so we want to go down there, but not just yet. I think we can pull that. Hang on. Check my notes here. Uh, Rebirth Chrysalis, roll off towards the ladder 
to get the the loot. Where was the ladder at again? Let's see where I'm at here. Yes. Okay. That platform is not the spot I thought it was. Oh man, I don't think we're gonna make that roll. It's not what I want. There's a there's a loot we're gonna miss going for it, but we can we can circle back and get it. Um, basically, there's a loot right in that room. Actually, maybe there's not a loot in that room because I don't see it right now. I mean, even if there is, it's like ammunition, but we can we can try and do the roll. This is probably going to be suicide, though. Oh my god, I made it. Get the large shards. Yeah, so typically you would take the ladder down, you'd go in there. And then uh, the thing that we're, we're standing on top of, you would pull this out to continue going. Uh, but now we got to get over to there. I'm just going to make this even tighter. Roll. Oh, we got it. Beautiful. Open this up for a stigma. Sanctimonious, deluded fools. Walking in light in my soul. They're blind like everyone else. Can't see for the glare. You know, actually, I guess you could get down here, grab those loots, and then go up the ladder and drop down over to this. That would probably be a hell of a lot stressful than what I just did. So yeah, do that. Anyway, drop down. Uh, over there, we have another Wither Mage we're going to blow up. Got our Perception Wisp. Continue ahead to grab a goodie. Exit Umbral before the Red Reaper shows up. Beautiful. Now we're going to be going down. Now we want to, I believe it's just this way that we want to go, but there's a couple things we're going to get here. So this is going to be a little, little risky business, but so roll down. It, no, don't run on top of the chest. Open the chest. The rune tablet. Run on over this way. To pick up the Infernal Guardian. It's a spell for our Pyros. Past him and punch open the door. There we go. You can kill them if you want, but we are actually about to warp out of here and go back to Skyrest now that we have picked up uh, the rune as well as the Perception Wisp. Now, we are coming up on the completion of two big quests, the first of which is the Blacksmith Quest. So, go ahead with that. Talk to home. them. You don't do not then we just see. So, this is a rather big decision. Um, since we're going for the hidden ending, we have to sacrifice Gerlinda. Because of that, if we give the tablet to Sparky, we are going to gain the ability to do smithing at any vestige, which is obviously very preferable to the alternative. Uh, if you give the tablet to Gerlinda, however, you get a meta rune. And what I mean by this is it's a rune that can can go, um, or it's, I say it's a star rune, I believe. Anyway, point is the rune removes the stat requirements and the weapon requirements on whatever you put it in. So to put this in perspective, I could grab, uh, you know, Shield of Whispers, 35 strength, level that up, drop a rune in it, and then wield it with 10 strength and no 40 weight, which is absolutely wild. So if you want to have an insanely strong shield in your offhand, or if you are doing, uh, you know, for example, what are, we, what are we working with? You know, you could do something like, you know, crushing gaze that weighs 36 if you wanted to combo that with a faithful bludgeon you can remove the weight requirement on the other hammer so it's super 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 good uh at the same time there is an achievement related to sparky and we are sacrificing gerlinda for this playthrough so as much as i hate doing this the no! smart choice here is to give it to sparky 
By and by, as for you. Get back. So the other thing is, now that we have done that, uh, actually, let me see. Has she already upgraded her prices? I think she has. Anyway, uh, point is, she has some dialogue here, you little shit. You think you can stab me in the back, blah, blah, blah. Uh, nothing really changes, except that now her prices are higher. So, you know, 1600 a 1000 which I wonder if she would update those if you refuse to talk to her. I didn't test that previously. Well, anyway, don't engage with her dialogue, and maybe she won't update her prices, and you can buy all the upgrade mats you want. Which, I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna need these. You probably have plenty by now, anyway. Uh, but the point is, she's about to get sacrificed soon, anyway. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, now, going on over to Dunmire. Now, keep in mind with Dunmire, you should have already done the Umbral Tome. If you've done that, the next thing to do is give him the Perception Wisp. Now, when you give him the Perception Wisp, when he leaves here, he is gone as a merchant. So what this means is that if you're going to give get these weapons and whatnot, if you're going to get these spells, if you're trying to get this stuff for Platinum, buy it now. Buy out his entire inventory now, because after you give him that Wisp, he is going to be gone. He's going to talk about descending, and that's what we're going to push next. Obviously, I'm not terribly worried about it, you know. This, this series is still going to guide you through the game, but the, the farming aspect kind of put me off from getting this platinum. Uh, but we're going to warp out and we're going to go to the mines. And then from here, we're going to go this way and we're going to go up that ladder. And I'm kind of glad that we're, we're done with the, the Galinda quest because I... I was so torn, because I really... If this wasn't a walkthrough, I would have, uh... I would have taken the rune, and then I would have put it in, like, a super late-game Great Shield, and just become a god. But, to be honest, I don't really block that much anyway. I spend a lot more time uh, dodging attacks, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Uh, make sure you have on your... Put on some moths, just because we're going to be jumping all over the place here. It'll make life a little bit easier. So when he says I need to descend, he talks about coming here. The past is dark and yet I must exact that is what to my mouth but no poison. It's his clothes. It's his clothes. And then I actually forgot to pick it up, so we gotta run back to base real quick before the next spot. That's because it is scouring time, so. We need to have some scourings on hand. I believe it's 50, which is quite a lot. Uh, go ahead and enter Umbral, which you're going to have to do this sooner or later anyway. Uh, we've been putting it off mainly because uh, I was going to get another Pieta's Longsword. Oh yeah, we got to upgrade our Umbral Lamp too. We didn't do that. Uh, so do that. That's going to give you access to another Umbral Eye. Which we already... I don't need immunity to damage. Let's see. What do I want here? Soul Flay Stun Duration. And then we will go... Uh, that one's wild. We don't need the Light Attack one. Um, dread Resist. Regain Soul Flay while in Umbral. And then... 25 Healing Efficiency. Extra Withered Health. Less Withered Health. Let's do, uh, item discovery. Sounds good. That'll probably... Oh, I don't really need items. I guess I could go, um... 15 for extra withered health upon striking an enemy, maybe? I don't know. None of this really matters. For, for my build, at least. Um... I don't think there was anything new here. But what we need to purchase, that we're gonna spend most of them on, is this thing. The Umbral Scouring Plan. So we talked about this a while ago, but... It's finally time. Bite the bullet, pick that up. Um, I should probably get a couple of these guys, too. Umbral Agony... No, what am I talking about? This is the damn build. I'm talking... It's a different build that uses all this stuff. I gotta pick up all that on my other build to test it out, though. Um... Until now that we have the Scourings... We are... I mean, really, I, I want my Umbral. There's one other item I'm gonna get, and it's from the final boss. On this particular build. We are gonna warp down to the Depths. Okay, from the depths, 
just gonna run on over to where the boss fight was. find his stuff here get the rosary as well as his ring interact with this hand over the umbral scouring clump that is going to play a wild ass cutscene after that we enter the mother's lull and you can talk to him Attend he's gone fucking bonkers for my skull. <laughs> bring your swords your boris assault my corpse glory fills me and surrounds me the masquerade has ended and this absurd tangle of wet me <laughs> so yeah, very Hellraiser. Uh, but while we're here, go ahead and talk to this guy. He's going to give us an Umbral Seed Pod. And basically, we keep using those to slowly make our way up to the big eye. And that's going to be the hidden ending. But now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and invest the mouth again. Or you can just exit and run out. It doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to save us some time here. And we're going to work back to the mines. Where are you? Oh. And then turn and run down this pathway. And right there, we have access to Dunmire's gear. And in particular, we have access to what I've been waiting for all this time, the Exactor Scripture, which is the best catalyst in the game for Radiant Builds. Since we already gave Sparky our thingy, we can now upgrade it right from here. Which means I'm about to do a whole hell of a lot more spell damage. Insufficient vigor? I think not. We have been sitting on skulls. Use the skull. You thought our holy beam was good before? short three. Oh my god. Oh well. Even then, uh, this is at 180 at 286 compared to 178 at 162. So we gained about 120 spell power. Pretty good. Pretty good. So we'll warp back to our seedling. And this is actually where we're going to wrap things up. So uh, as we continue down, we're going to end up taking out Tancred. Honestly, I think he's a he's a pretty pretty easy boss. Uh, and then after that, we make our way over to the abbey, and then from the abbey we go to the castle. So we are uh, pretty much in the home stretch at this point. I mean, we got to take out Tancred, obviously, but we are we are cruising along. So we'll go ahead and spend all that extra extra vigor to level up. Uh, in our next episode, we will head down deeper into the Tower of Penance to take on the boss. So stay tuned, and I'll catch y'all then.